right, so let's get started blocking out the main body of the golf cart. But before we do that, let's go and set up a project folder that we're going to save our scene files into. And we will set Maya to that under the uh, file project set. So out on my desktop, I'm going to just close that down. I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it um, Ashley Golf. Whoops, cart. I'll just call it cart. And I'm going to go back into Maya now. And under File, Project, I'm going to hit Select. And I'm going to select that folder that I just made. And I'm going to hit Set. And now if we go back out here and we open that up, Maya has created uh, three folders in here and a workspace. And that workspace uh, will save the information about Maya. And uh, the scenes we're going to be saving inside here into this, this folder, the My Scenes. And if we want to send up autosaves, we can do that as well. And we'll probably go ahead and create some other folders in here a little bit later as we need them. Let's just close that now. Go back into Maya. And let's come under here and set up polygons. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. I want to first uh, come under Polygons and just make sure that the interactive creation is turned off. Uh, it defaults as on. Uh, let's make sure that's off. And uh, we're going to let Maya just create things uh, in the world space at default. And before we do that, let's go under um, Windows, Settings, and Preferences. Preferences, uh, this is just sort of a good habit to get into uh, selecting this, just restoring default settings. Get some of our icons back here. And uh, if we want to come down to undo, let's put infinite on there. That way we don't uh, get stuck somewhere and have to start over. All right, so now that we've got that set up, let's come under create polygon primitives and we're going to select cube. And it's just uh, set a cube here in the center of world space. And I'm going to come under here under Inputs. And uh, I'm going to click on here instead of just, uh, uh, you know, selecting this and hitting, you know, Scale. Um, I'm actually going to just come under here, click on the width. And with my middle mouse button, I'm going to um, just drag that across here. You don't have to be over that. You can be anywhere inside the, the panel here. And I'm going to set it um, at about 4 or so. Height, um, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. It's fairly, fairly narrow. And depth, this is the, the length of the cart. So I'm going to bring it out to about here. I'll we'll just kind of round it off at 16. And uh, that looks about right. And now I'm going to add some subdivisions here. Let's go ahead and select five. We'll go into shaded mode. So for the width, I'm going to just put one in there. So we'll just have one dividing. Uh, this is the base. It's going from the, the inside of the wheel well uh, across. So not the full, full width of the cart. And then for the height, I'm going to go ahead and just add one. And the depth. We're going to divide that, uh, let's see, that looks about right. We're going to have to move those a little bit. It's just working very low resolution right now. This is just kind of uh, blocking it in, uh, the same thing you do when you're drawing, uh, just starting off very simple, building blocks, and then working, working up from there. So now that I've got that, um, I'm going to come here, right mouse, click, select face, and I'm going to select this whole side over here and hit Delete. And we're doing that because we're just going to build one side of the card and then we're going to mirror it over. All right, so now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and select these faces here. Uh, and actually, let's go ahead and shape these first before we extrude. And we'll do that by grabbing Vertex. And uh, I'm going to grab this group here and here, hit W, slide these back a little bit. Maybe push this one back a little more. Same thing here. I'm going to grab all of these, pull them forward a little bit, pull this forward a little bit. 
All right, so this is the, the interior of the car. This is sort of the hood, and this is the, the back or the trunk area. And there's going to be a seat in here. All right, so now let's go ahead and select face. We'll shift, click, grab those, come up here, extrude. And I'm going to click here and just pull those up. Uh, um, about here. We're going to reshape all of this. Um, so I'm just kind of shaping the back end first here. You can see that I translated it here at, you know, 1.4, a little over. And uh, I'm now going to select the, the vertex, hit W, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of pull these up a little bit. And these I'm going to push down, something like that. That's just very basic right now. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to get the wheel wells in there. So we're going to have to add a little bit of resolution and coming under Edit Mesh, I'm going to select Insert Edge Loop Tool and I'm going to put one on either side of this division here and same thing back here. If they're not perfectly even that's okay. I'm going to hit W to get out of that. And now I'm going to come in here and right mouse click vertex, select the front. Um, actually, we just created some, some faces over here that we need to delete first. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Select face, shift click, and delete those. And those back there. All right, let's come back here and continue shaping the will well. Vertex. W to move that up, and then I'm going to click here, shift click, select R, and just kind of bring those in a little bit. And looks like that one's up a little, a little too high. So something like that. Uh, I might grab all of these and just pull them in a little bit, just to sort of even them out. All right, and then coming over here. Uh, I'm going to even these out a little bit as well. Just slide that forward. Select the center one, move that up, and shift select those, R, and just bring them in a little. And let's lower this one too. Okay. All right, so those are our, the outlines of our wheel wells. So what we're going to do now is select faces, and we're going to uh, let's see if we can just select all of them down here. Probably going to get a few more than we want. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and shift select these. We're selecting everything but the will well. And just make sure everything else is not selected. And now that we've got that, we're going to extrude. And we're just going to go ahead and pull these out. And there we have our wheel wells. Okay. Hit W to get out of that. And I'm going to go to vertex. I'm going to shape the front of this a little bit more. We want to get that kind of cartoony scoop um, that I had there. And bringing those up. Kind of pushing these down. Uh, if you want to go to the side view, I'm holding down the shift or the uh, space bar and right mouse button and going to side view. It's a little easier to shape things that way. So I'm going to push that down in. And maybe kind of do that. There we go. Maybe bring this up just a little more. And same thing on the back here. Uh, I'm going to try to scoop this in a little bit. So let's add a little bit more resolution there with the, the edge loop. Just go ahead and um, select on here, drop that in, hit Q to get out of it, and right mouse click vertex, and just uh, dragging a marquee over here. Um, so we select the ones in the front and back, W, and just move these in a little. All right. And go back to perspective view. 
And that's looking pretty good. All right, so that's just the, the base of the body there, or half of the body. And in the next lesson, we're going to start adding uh, some edge loops to create uh, tension lines. If you select three right now, uh, you'll see what that looks like without the tension lines. So we're going to have to um, tighten all that up and um, start adding some more detail around the wheel wells and uh, shaping it a little bit more. And we'll do that in the next lesson.